so we're starting off the new record. Hopefully, Ed doesn't fucking blow it. And we get to do something on it. So, come by, cheers. Bye. 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 George Brett, Dennis Leonard, Brett Saberhagen, ooh, George Brett again, Steve Balboni, OJ Simpson. How does the typical zebrahead song writing look like? Um, have you ever seen a five-year-old color? It looks like that. A bunch of scribbles, a, a lot outside the lines, a lot outside the lines, and that's pretty much how a zebra head song run looks like. Uh, were we drunk the entire time? Maybe. It's hard to say. I'm gonna say. No. Yes. Hi guys. So it's 2.30 and we're about ready to start drums on the new record. And we figure we're going to make some highballs and have some drinks. Where do I get my inspiration from? Huh. Mr. Huey Lewis. Whoa, this is heavy. Let's see. A typical day in the studio would be us arriving... Probably 11 o'clock because we can't get up early whenever we're recording. And let's see. Um, we get there and uh, I'm not really sure what happens after that. We just kind of get there and we show up and something magical happens. Describe the recording process with an existing movie title, Rambo, First Blood, Part 2, because not Part 1, because, you, know, you know, that's just the beginning of it, but the Part 2, that's when things get really good. my go-to guitar and guitar rig when it comes to recording the the album well um, I like to go with the EVH Wolfgang uh, for, for my stuff and um, the 5153